Дорогі українці, українки. Dear Ukrainians, the key points for today. First, there have already been several reports by Commander in Chief Sirsky. The front line, our positions primarily, it is the Pokrovsk direction, our Donetsk region. We understand the enemy's steps and we are getting stronger. We have checked the ammunition supply, and it is very important that our partners really fulfill their obligations. On each package, on all our Agreements. This is fundamental for our defense, our operation in the Kursk region, our combat work continues. Steps are being taken, we control the designated areas. And I thank all our guys and all our units for continuing to replenish the exchange fund. Second, I had a long, very detailed meeting with government officials and representatives of the Verkhovna Rada. There were several issues. We are planning decisions that need to be made to support our defense forces and also to support economic activity in the country so that we can not only save jobs but also give the Ukrainian economy more opportunities, more potential for growth. These are important issues and so are the conclusions drawn after meetings with entrepreneurs in the regions. The government will provide all the details when the relevant draft decisions are prepared. But we can already say that we have agreed with the government, the ministry will look for alternative solutions without putting pressure on legitimate business. And we have also agreed on additional national steps for the shadowing. In addition, today we discussed our work with partners on advancing real decisions on the promised $50 billion from the frozen Russian assets. There have already been many political statements from our partners. There is still a lot being said about this, but we need a real mechanism. Mechanism. We need the proceeds of the aggressor's assets to work for real defense assistance against the aggressor, for all of this to work for Ukraine and Ukrainians in the coming months. The relevant discussions have been ongoing for too long, and we finally need decisions. And one more thing for today. I spoke with Patriarch Bartholomew. I thanked him for his support of Ukraine and Ukrainians, our defense, our independence. I informed him about the law passed to strengthen our spiritual independence. It is very important that we share a common understanding of the unifying potential for Ukrainian orthodoxy that this past law provides. And everything is provided for it in sufficient measure to really eliminate dependence on Moscow and to add unity to Ukraine. I thank everyone in the world who stands with Ukraine. Glory to Ukraine!